Day 10, Pipe Maze. You use the hang glider to ride the hot air from Desert Island all the way up to the floating metal island. This island is surprisingly cold, and there definitely aren't any thermals to glide on, so you leave your hang glider behind. You wander around for a while and you don't find any people or animals. However, you do occasionally find signposts labeled hot springs pointing in a seemingly inconsistent, oh, a seemingly consistent direction. Maybe you can find someone at the hot springs and ask them where the desert machine parts are made. The landscape here is alien. Even the flowers and trees are made of metal. As you stop to admire the metal grass, you notice something metallic scurry away in your peripheral, peripheral vision and jump into a big pipe it didn't look like an animal you've ever seen. If you want a better look, you'll need to get ahead of it. Scanning the area, you discover that the entire field you're standing on is den densely packed with pipes. It was hard to tell at first because they're all the same metallic silver color as the ground. You make a quick sketch of all the surface pipes you can see. The pipes are arranged in a two-dimensional two grid of tiles. You're confident the pipe that contains the animal is one large continuous loop. There are also many pipes that aren't connected to the loop. Every pipe in the main loop connects to its two neighbors, including S, which will have exactly two pipes connecting to it. If you want to get out ahead of the animal, you should find the tile in the loop that is furthest from the starting position. Okay. So we need to identify the loop and then figure out which one is furthest away from it. Bash is not meant for this. Let's, let's be very clear. This is going to be rough. We're going to do a good old read loop. Okay, we've got our we've got our lines. Let's make an array called grid, and we'll do grid plus equals line. So index is gonna take a row equals grid grid one. We echo row two uh, one. So we can try like indexing into this thing. Index uh three one is an L. Nice. So we need to figure out where the S is. C equals zero, R equals zero, R plus plus, C plus plus, haha, funny joke. If char equals S, let's call this SR and SC. SC equals C, SR equals R. Just for good measure, we can index into it. Perfect. We found the S. <laughs> what do we do with this information now that we have the S? I think we need to we need to go left, up, right, and down from S. Let's let's do this. Up, down, left, right. We need to figure out which of these connects to a particular direction. Should we do like check left? Local row equals one. Column equals two, row, column. So that gives us the one to the left. And then we need to check if it connects. Here is just gonna be, if here is not S and here, here is not, what other ones connect to the left? Horizontal, so dash, L connects to the left, the seven. Uh, so this is going to be if, let's name this next so it's more reusable. If, this is going to be all of the ones that connect to the right. So it's this and F and also L. Oh, J also connects left. Okay, so we checked left and it didn't find anything. So now we need to copy paste this. So one problem we're going to face is we need to not go back the direction that we just came from. So we, when we go down, we print, so up, down, left, move. Okay. Uh, let's try moving a few times. So we go right, right, down, down. Hey, that's not bad. We are, we are navigating the maze. We need to figure out what our end condition is. And our end condition is... When we hit the S again, if current equals index row column, if current equals S, then echo done. 
So let's do like state equals moving while state not equals done. Do state equals move. Wait a minute. It just it just immediately said done because it started on the S. That's not what I had in mind. If I'm being honest, let's say if last not equals NA. OK, now we're infinite looping. Oh, do you know what it is? We need to add S to all of these. So now what we need is some sort of count. Count plus plus. Do we want to just try it on the big maze? I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also kind of excited. Holy heck, it's going. We are we are in the maze. What's the worst that could happen? All right, here's our maze. How confident are we that the program terminates? I'm like not that confident. <gasps> it did it. Oh my God. We did it. <laughs> All right, what could they possibly do for part two that would make this harder? You quickly reach the farthest point of the loop, but the animal never emerges. Maybe its nest is within the area in... No. <laughs> no. No. You have got to be fucking kidding me. To determine whether it's even worth taking the time to search for such a nest, you should calculate how many tiles are contained within the loop. Holy shit. This is like, this is like flood fill. I want to see if there's a way we can speed up our part one. Because I feel like it's pretty slow. And I think it's because we're doing a lot of subshells when we're moving. We can, we can simplify this, right? How long for the input? Now we wait. I don't know what else to do. I need it to go faster. We need to refactor this as well. Use return. It was taking 90 seconds to run before. Now it takes two seconds. Wait, can we solve this by hand? Is that cheating? I think it is pretty countable. I think it's going to be faster than implementing it. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> All right. We're, we're gaming. We got to find all of the dots that are on the black. I'm going to I'm going to circle them so that we can we can count them. Okay. There's one. Here's one. I got to make sure I get an exact amount. Damn it. Don't you also have to count the pipe characters? Wait, do you really? I thought it was just the dots. Where am I going? <laughs> Let's go. The legendary solution. <laughs> Who needs to write code? Honestly, cringe. Can image magic create a, create a picture from text? It'd be fun to write this like a whole end-to-end -end script Hey, that that looks pretty good. So you want a font renderer? Yeah, I think Image Magic can do it. Hack regular nerd font complete mono test.png. It made something. Okay, it can definitely render text. So we need to feed in the label somehow. You can read the text for a label from the standard input pipeline. We can just hook this up directly to, wait, why does this still say Anthony? No, 
Don't print stuff. That's not what I wanted you to do. And you know it. All right, this is what we're getting now. This will work if we can set the line height. Also, what does this look like at 100%? It's alias to heck. Oh, here we draw the image again. We turn on, we asked I am to turn off using plus anti alias. Ooh, I like the sound of this. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I wonder if we can use a smaller text size now to get it to. What happens if we go down to like six? It doesn't. It doesn't have gaps anymore, and each of our dots is one pixel. We do need to fix our uh, our S to be a different character. <laughs> there we go. That should uh, should close our our gaps. All right. How big is this image? It's only twenty eight kilobytes. Oh boy, <laughs> this is looking good. We we don't even need to. All we need to do is fill like the top left and then unfill it. Okay, so we need to do. We do a fill with the blue and then we we do a unfill. So first, let's change this to let's change this to black, this to white. Oh, that did work. Yes. Okay. Now we just have to flood it back to black. Fill black. Yeah. <laughs> We're home free. We're so we are we are so back. These are individual dots too, so we can just count them. Yes. <laughs> Grep white, uh, TRS, uh, space. If you're gonna do it in Bash, at least make your own flood filled whatever algorithm. This is not cheats. This is this is the solution. Don't be a hater. If it works, it works. Technically, we already solved the problem a while ago with the uh with MS Paint, <laughs> but we went back and we we're trying to automate it. Okay, three fifty five. Uh, we can do one final pass to get rid of the, uh, we could actually do it like this. We don't need this TR. That's, that's pretty good. That's so good. Oh my goodness.